Ah, <sighs> gonna have a nice, quiet, relaxing day. What'd you say, Jeffy? Jeffy, I can't hear you. Speak up. All right, Danny, hold on one second. Wait, what? Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? Jeffy, you don't need the stupid megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? Ask without the megaphone. Can you buy me a laptop so I can play Minecraft? No. <laughs> you know what? I said no. I'm not buying you a stupid dumb laptop. Who's that? Uh, hello? Hey, Marvin. Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? You see this laptop? Yeah. Well, on this laptop is a thousand Bitcoin. And right now, with current market prices, that's over $68 million. What, there's over $68 million on this laptop? Yep, there sure is. And I need you to watch it for me. But why do you need me to watch it? Well, because tonight at 3 a.m., Bitcoin's going to be going to $100,000 per coin. And that means my portfolio will be worth over $100 million. And at 3 a.m., I need you to sell all my Bitcoin. Well, why do you need me to sell all your Bitcoin at 3 a.m.? Why don't you do it? Because I'll be asleep at 3 a.m. Does it look like I'm awake at 3 a.m.? Of course not. But you look like you'll be awake at 3 a.m. with those ugly bags under your eyes. God, you're ugly. Well, well, why don't you just get someone else to do it? Because I don't feel comfortable with all that money. So get someone else to do it. Well, Marvin, if you do it, I'll pay you a million dollars. You'll pay me a million dollars to do it? Yep, I sure will. But keep in mind, if you screw this up for me, I'm going to cut off your ball sack and use it as a hot air balloon. It'll be a hot air ball loon. Wait, 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 I won't mess this up. I will definitely sell them, okay? It's safe with me. Okay, don't screw this up, Marvin. Oh, man, Daddy's about to get paid. All I have to do is click sell at 3 a.m. and I make a million dollars. I'm so happy. Oh, sweet. You got me a laptop? No, Jeffy, I did not get you a laptop. <laughs> you bought yourself a laptop just to rub it in my face? Well, no, Jeffy. You're a bad daddy. This is not even my laptop. Oh, because it's my laptop because you bought it for me. Well, no, no. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, this is your laptop. I bought it for you. Oh, sweet. Let me play with it. No, 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 Je Jeffy. Uh, you can't play with it till 3.01 a.m. Why? Be because I'm setting it up for you. Well, I have to check my piggies, and my piggies need to bang. What? I need to breed my piggies in Minecraft. Wait, oh, Jeffy, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, I'm downloading Minecraft right now. Oh, oh man, it says it says it's going to take till 3.01 to download Minecraft. Well, then you're doing it wrong because it doesn't take that long to download Minecraft. Jeffy, just wait till 3.01 a.m. No, my piggies need to bang. My piggies need to go. <laughs> what? What? And you're blue balling my piggies. Jeffy, you can play with your piggies at 3.01 a.m. My piggies need to bang. No, 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 no. My piggies oh, need no, no, to bang. No, no, no. Okay, okay, please. Please do not break this laptop. Look, here. Yeah, yeah. Let, let your piggies bang. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, all right, hold on. Don't look at my password. I gotta log in. I'm not gonna look. Stop looking. <sighs> Jimmy, what are you watching? No, 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 nothing. Don't look. What? That didn't sound like piggies to me. No, it was piggies. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you what it was. Show me what it was. No, Jimmy. no, no, no. Oh, I'm trying to back. <laughs> Jimmy, you get back here right now. Give me the laptop. No, Daddy, no. Give me the laptop, Jimmy. Uh, 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 Jeffy, do not drop that laptop off the balcony. You're yelling at me. I'm not yelling, Jeffy. Let, let's talk. Give me the laptop back, please. I don't want you to see what I was looking at. I don't care what you were looking at. Just give me the laptop back. It was a man and a woman dressed like piggies. That, that's fine. Everybody watches that. And they were oinking. Jeffy, that, that's completely fine. Just please give me the laptop back. I'll do anything. All right, well, then say your ABCs backwards. What? On the first try, no pausing. I can't do that. One, two, three, go. Uh, Z, Y, X. W, U, you, uh, uh, you pause. Look at that, Jimmy! Jimmy! Ah, hey, 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 hey! No hitting. Jimmy, you might have broke that laptop. God, please don't let it be broken. Jimmy, what are you doing? Stop it, Jimmy! I didn't want you to see the piggy. I don't care about the piggy, Jimmy. Oh, please let it still turn on. Jimmy, the screen's broken. Jimmy, it's completely broken. Why would you do that? Missing a combo. You're grounded to the sky! Ah! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Goodman's gonna cut my ball sack off and make it into a hot air balloon. <sighs> oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe it's not broken. You know, the screen's broken and the corner's broken, but the hard drive, that, that's where the Bitcoin is in the hard drive. So I'm gonna call Apple Tech Support and see if they can help me fix the laptop and get the hard drive out. Yeah, I'm gonna call Apple Tech Support. All right, it's ringing. Hello, thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Kamil Habib Habab. Kamil is in camel, Habib Habab is in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? Well, Kamil, my Who? laptop. What? Who? 
Camille Habiba Bob. Camille is in camo. Habiba Bob is in Bob for apples. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? My Apple laptop is broken. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you happen to have the Apple Care Plan? No, I do not. Okay, well, I suggest that you purchase it for $99.99. Okay, I'll buy it. Well, unfortunately, you can't buy it on your current laptop. You should have bought it at the time of purchase. Why are you, why are you trying to sell it to me then if I can't buy it? Because I'm just trying to propose it to you for your future Apple product. Well, I don't need it. I don't want it. I just want you to help me fix my current laptop. Okay, do you mind telling me what is wrong with your current laptop? My son threw it off a balcony and hit it with a hammer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, that's not covered by the accidental damage warranty. I don't care about the warranty. Like, help me fix it right now. Okay. Well, first of all, we have to go through some quick troubleshooting techniques. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Hurry up. All right. So first on the list, I'm going to need you to turn it off and turn it back on. I said it was broken. You hit it with a hammer. Okay, sir, I can't proceed forward until you turn it off and turn it back okay, on. Okay, it's off. It's permanently off. Okay. All right, now what is the screen showing? Hammer mark, hammer mark, hammer mark, broken glass. Okay, well, you're going to have to exit out of those screens in order to proceed. It's, it's not a screen. It, it, the laptop is off. Okay, all right. One more thing. We're gonna, I'm going to need you to go into settings. I can't go into settings. The laptop won't turn on. And hit the reset button. I can't do that. All right, sir. Unfortunately, there's nothing else I can do further. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to mail you a shipping label. You'll get it in two to three business days. And then you pack up your laptop, ship it to us. We fix it and we send it back to you in three to four weeks. Three to four weeks? I need to fix tonight, like, like in the next hour. Well, unfortunately, there's no way I can do that, sir. The troubleshooting is not working. Oh, okay, well, can you come to my house and fix it? Like, where are you at? Sir, I'm in Egypt. Egypt? Well, can you get me someone in America? Oh, uh, yeah, I can transfer you to my supervisor named Kevin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, get me to Kevin. Is he in America? Yep, hold on one moment, please. Okay, good. Kevin, a nice American name. Hello, thank you for calling Apple Tech Support. My name is Kevin. It is not Kevin, it's a Kamehameha! <laughs> okay, no, no, I don't need their help. I'll just call a computer repair man that can come to my house tonight and fix it. Yes. Hey there, you call Big Shirts Computer Repair? We wear big shirts and we repair computers. I'm the one that came with the big shirts part. Yeah, he did. Well, who is this? This is my brother, Jonathan. Good day, sir. You don't have to tip your fedora to everybody you meet, Jonathan. If you didn't like the fedora, you could have said something. I don't have a problem with the fedora. It's the big shirts I don't like. Do we really need these? Yes, it's part of the name. It's... Big Shirts Computer Repair Services. Would it make sense if it were Regular Shirts Computer Repair Services? No. Well, I don't understand. Can't we just change the name? I don't really understand why no, we... No, 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 no. It has to be Big Shirts Repair Services. Because if it weren't, we would just be the same as everyone else. It's what separates us from the competition. The boys from the men. Well, I, I don't really get it because Tight Jeans Computer Repair Services is doing okay. You keep your dirty name out your mouth! Oh, okay, wait, wait. What is going on here? Look, my mom came to me and she said, your 32-year-old brother's still living at home. Could you please help him start a company? So I came to Jonathan and I said, hey, Jonathan, what kind of company do you want to start? And he said, I want to either sell big shirts or repair computers. And I said, well, which one do you want to do, Jonathan? And he said, how about we wear big shirts while repairing computers? And I said, no, Jonathan, you're going to have to pick one or the other. So he went to our mom and he complained that I was being mean to him. So now we wear big shirts while repairing computers. It's a great idea, honestly. No, Jonathan, it's not a good idea, because we've only been open for a day and a half, and he's our only customer. Well, I only called you guys because you're the only 24-hour computer repair shop. Which was another one of Jonathan's stupid ideas, because it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and he had to get me out of bed for this. Silly goose forgot his shirt. I didn't break into his house and everything. I climbed to your window. <laughs> you have such an ugly laugh. Hey, you keep talking like that, and you're going to be put on Santa's naughty list. Jonathan, you're 32 years old. Why do you still believe in Santa Claus? See, this is why I got two Xbox Ones for Christmas last year, and you didn't get anything. No, Jonathan, the reason you get two Xbox Ones for Christmas is because you still live at Mom's house. No, 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 we both know that's not true. Listen, that's not true. Mom bought the house, and then there was an addition made, the basement, and that's where I live, Mom's basement. Yeah, you live in mom's basement. Precisely. Okay, I don't care where you live. I don't care how you started the company. I don't care about anything. Can you fix my computer or not? Oh, I didn't know there was a lady present. Hey, uh, sexy. Looks like you've been in an abusive relationship. Don't worry. Daddy's gonna fix you. What is he doing? He thinks computers are women. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, can he, can he fix the... What, can you fix the computer or not? Uh, listen, man, at this point, you probably should just buy a new computer. Well, I just need you to take the hard drive out. Sure. I am not at a hard drive, maybe like, maybe like a half drive. 
Just give me a couple of moments and I'll be at a full on hard drive. Ugh. Okay, okay, listen, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be serious with you. I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this shit. Oh, listen, listen. So, um, there is a thousand Bitcoin on this hard drive. What, a thousand Bitcoin? A thousand Bitcoin. $68 million on this hard drive, and I just need to get it out because I, I cannot lose that money. Wait, you serious? I'm being completely serious, so I don't have time for whatever he's doing. Can, can you just get the hard drive out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jonathan, uh, could, could you cut the crap for Excuse a second? Excuse me, I'm busy. Jonathan, I need you. I need you to knock this shit off, Jonathan. This is important, okay? Go to the guy. I never interrupt you when you're busy, except for when I woke you up. Yeah, with your like wife. an hour ago. But, yeah, okay. but listen, no, I, I'm about to lose my fee card. Don't ruin this for me. Jonathan, listen to me. I need you to take this computer and put it in the car. But why would I push it in the car? I thought we were fishing it. Because that's that's where the computer repair station is. <laughs> no, well, it's not. Well, it's well, a Hyundai Sonata. Well, are you, you going to bring it back if you take it? Yeah, yeah, we're going to take it. We're going to fix it. We're going to bring it right back. Right, Jonathan? Why would you need, why would you need to bring it anywhere if we're just going to fix it right here? Just put it in the car. Come on. Let's okay, fine. Fine. Well, uh, I put it in the car. Well, make sure you bring it back. I, I told you I was on it. Go, Jonathan. Go, 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 you know, go, go. You know, if you play your cards right, you might be able to join us. <laughs> Don't <laughs> join you. Just go, 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 go. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I forgot my fedora. Forget your fedora. I'll buy you 68 million fedoras. Oh, man, I really hope those guys can fix that computer. Goodman's going to kill me. Wait, that guy left his fedora. Wait, oh, hold on. That might be them. Uh, hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Marvin, I messed up. You know the laptop I gave you? Uh, yeah. Well, that was actually my son's laptop, and he has a book report on it that's due at school at 9 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to need that back. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 what, what happened to the Bitcoin laptop? Oh, I accidentally got it confused with my son's laptop, and so I decided I'll just sell the Bitcoin. So I do need my son's laptop back. Wait, so, so you need that laptop back? Yeah, so go get it. Uh, uh... Go get it. Well, well you see, the funniest thing, I, uh, I, I sold that laptop for, um, uh, this hat. Why the f*** would you do that? Well, I really like this hat. Oh, give me the damn hat. Wait, wait. I'm gonna try that hat. Oh, huh, you're right. It is a nice hat. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to go upstairs and write my son's book report and have it ready by 9 a.m. Or else I'm going to be wearing this hat while riding in a hot air balloon made out of your ball sack. Oh, so okay. go get writing. Oh, okay. Oh, what's, the, what, what's it about? What's the book report about? Cream cheese. Cream cheese? Yep. Two pages on cream cheese. Get it done. 9 a.m. Okay. So, where are we going, Brickson guy? Vegas, we're rich. You got that laptop on yet? Of course I have it on. Ooh, we got a thousand Bitcoin on there? Not quite, but we do have a thousand Wallace on cream cheese. Cream cheese? No, 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 no. There has to be a thousand Bitcoin on there. Nope, just a very detailed essay on cream cheese. Mmm, damn you, cream cheese! Hey, Mommy and Daddy, let's play a quick game of Jeffy Shares. Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin, it'll be fun. He's gonna make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me a hundred bucks. What? Jeffy says, raise your left hand. Jeffy says, put it down. Jeffy says, go, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. Jeffy says go uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah. Jeffy says say pee 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 Jeffy says give me 50 bucks What? No Jeffy! Do you want to lose and you have to pay me a hundred? <sighs> Here's your 50 Jeffy says pee pee Jeffy says jump up and down Jeffy says yeah keep doing that Ugh, I'm getting tired Jeffy Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, ah, you lose! You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him a hundred bucks. Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say, Jeffy says stop doing that. <sighs> and you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me a hundred bucks. <sighs> Here's your hundred dollars, Jeffy. Leave. He just made two hundred dollars. He just conned us out of two hundred dollars. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What? Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150. <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What? For what? I need you to come over to my house. Don't ask questions, Marvin. I'll send you the address. Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably going to yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, very good. He's in the living room, please. Go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman. I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You want to squeeze them? Well, no, 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 no. I, I don't want to squeeze them. Oh, em. come on, Marvin. I can tell you want to squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. 
I mean, they are really nice. Norman, are you in here touching my wife's boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you would be- I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, 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 she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. Why? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I I walked into my living room and there he was, squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought I was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, I didn't <laughs> cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. Well, what if you thought the the, the, the girl uh, the man was a girl? You're what? sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? What, what, what? Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to... You want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now. If you want to save this marriage, you need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm going to go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. <sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want to Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? Not the best. She, she hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the god damn it? <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Aw, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her ditties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans. And he stuck his face betwixt them and shook his head violently and went like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call him Therapist. I didn't do anything. Oh. Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well, you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you were going to give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one. Over there, go. Uh, okay, fine. I'll give him a massage. That'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good. Like, he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice? Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. Wait, wait, 
What is that? <laughs> I bolted a Sean Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boob, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. If you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, are you going to check? What? No! Listen, baby, you know that's a broken guy dressed like a woman and I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen, I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze him again. Well, no, 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 listen, if I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, right, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, I didn't miss them. You miss how they fell on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. Uh, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman! It's not what it looks like! He came on to me! No, I heard the whole thing! And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup! <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! There you go, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, no more stickers. Well, I got one more flaw! My face is already covered. That's what she said. Come on, Marvin, just let him do it. Okay, hurry up. And there you go, Daddy. Flog. All right, no more stickers. Yes, more stickers. I got one more. No, Jeffy, put them on your body. All right, I'll put them on my butthole. Therefore, when I fart, stickers go everywhere. It'll be a sticky fart. There's someone at the door. Hold on. Hello? Hey Marvin, you have your house payment this month? Uh, well, no, I don't have it. Oh, so you don't have enough money to pay me, but you have enough money to buy stickers and put them all over your stupid face. Well, no, no, my, my, my son had the stickers. Listen Marvin, I don't care. I'm tired of you being poor. So you know what I'm gonna do? This is your nutsack. And if you don't have your house payment tomorrow when I come by, this is what I'm gonna do to your nutsack. Look at your nuts, Marvin. Uh, house payment tomorrow. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman, and he wants my house payment, but he's just so mean. Don't worry, Marvin. He's just a mean, rich man. He doesn't understand. I know, but he doesn't know what it's like to be poor. I just wish he knew what it was like to be poor. I'm gonna go wash these stickers off my face. Uh-oh! That don't like the sticker! Come on, Jeffy. Let's get ready for bed. Oh, <gasps> okay. Good morning, Rose. Rose? Who's Rose? Ah, who are you? My name is Starlight. We met last night. What? I don't remember that. How'd you get my bed? Rose is going to be so mad. Good morning, sir. Ah, who are you? I'm 
Chives, your butler. What? Hung over again, I see. No, I'm not hung over. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Sir, your name is Goodman. You're a trillionaire, and you're a dick. I mean, Goodman's body? Yes, sir. You, you are Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Sir, shall I pay the lady for her services? You owe me $5,000. I don't have $5,000. Sir, yes, you do. It's right here. Now scram! Thank you. What? Oh, wait, 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 listen, Chives. I don't know what's going on. I'm not good, man. I'm not supposed to be in my body. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, sir. No, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm not good, man. I don't know what's going on. Shall I just bend over for my spanking now? Why would I spank you? Well, normally when I talk back to you, you give me a harsh spanking. I, I don't, I don't want to spank you. What? I, I, I think I love you. Shall I draw a bath, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a bath. That, that, that'll help me figure out what's going on. Very well, sir. I'm good, man. Look at all this money in the bed. What, what the? Well, I've never seen this much money in my life. I really just bathe in this? Yes, sir. It's all yours. Uh, do you want to join me? Really, sir? I've never been allowed to join you before. Yeah, jump in. The money's warm. Very well, sir. <sighs> hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny, you're mm. gonna take me to school. Mm. What the? Who are you? You're gonna take me to school. I'm not taking you to school. I don't even know who you are. Wait, what the? Is this Marvin's house? I must have fallen asleep here. Marvin, did you fall asleep on the couch again? Ew, fat! Marvin, you're so silly when you first wake up. Why do you poor people keep calling me Marvin? Because you are Marvin. What the? Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! Bold! Bold and poor! What's wrong, Marvin? I'm bold and poor! You say that every morning. I used to be handsome! What happened? It's okay, Marvin. Get away from me, you fat cow! <laughs> move! 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 Here's your breakfast, sir. Filet mignon cooked medium and a loaded baked potato. Unfortunately, we don't have any peppercorns. Why are you showing me your butt? So you can spank me, sir. I said I wasn't going to spank you. Really? Yeah, and this, this breakfast is amazing. Do you want some? Oh, I'm not allowed to have any, sir. Normally, normally you just feed me kibble without the bits. No, no, you can have some of my steak. I'm not going to eat all of it. Really, sir? Thank you so much. Dad, 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 can I drop out of school and become a piece of shit? Yeah, sure. Really? You're the best dad ever! Yay, no school! Sir, I don't know what's gotten into you, but we love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I love it too. Ah, why did this happen to me? Why am I in Marvin's poor fat body? I bet he's got a tiny wiener. Let me check. Ah, ah, tiny wiener! Why would God do this to me? I'm such a nice person. Wait a minute. If I'm in Marvin's body, that must mean he's in my body. I gotta call him and get my body back. Marvin, I think we should file for divorce. I think so too. You're just too fat. What? You're a fat cow. Give me my phone. I need to make a phone call. Okay, here. Fine. Go call your other girlfriends. <laughs> I think I might. All right, come on, me. Answer the phone. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Another glass of champagne, sir. No, thank you, Chives. You can have that glass. Wow, thank you, sir. Man, Goodman's life is amazing. Sir, you're getting a phone call. Just put it up to my ear. Very well, sir. Hello? Marvin? What, Goodman? Are you in my body? Uh... Yeah? Yeah, because I'm in your poor, short, fat, small wiener body. You have a small wiener, did you know that? Yeah, but, but listen, you have a big wiener, and, and I like your life, it's so amazing. I know my life is amazing, so give me my life back. No, I think I'm gonna stay in your body for a while. No, you give it back to me right now! Uh, the call's breaking up. That call is not breaking up, because that is a satellite phone. Uh, 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 Chives, hang up. Chives, don't you hang up on me! Huh? He hung up on me?! Oh, if I ever get back in my body, I'm gonna make Chives walk around in a thong and I'm gonna give him a thousand spankings! Marvin, I made you some breakfast. I think you just woke up cranky. It better be filet mignon! Ew! What is this? Albino rabbit shit? It's Cheerios, Marvin, made with real honey. Where's my filet mignon? Cooked medium rare peppercorn! You know we can't afford that, Marvin. Ew! I keep getting more and more poor! I'm gonna go to my mansion and see if I can get my body back. He's going through a midlife crisis! Marvin, you open!
at this door right now! Hello? Chai, let me in my house. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was given strict instructions not to let Marvin into this house. But I'm not Marvin. I'm Goodman, so let me in! Well, you certainly look like Marvin. Chives, as soon as I get back in my body, you're getting a spanking. Well, hopefully that never happens. Whoever's in your body right now treats me great. He treats you great? That can't be happening. Marvin, get down here right now! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you would like an appointment with Mr. Goodman, you'll have to call in and schedule it in advance. Unfortunately, he's booked by about three years. Good day, sir! Chives, don't you slam that door in my face! <laughs> Oh man, this house is incredible. I could just lay here and relax all day. Um, excuse me, Mr. Goodman. I was wondering if maybe I could start wearing underwear now because it's getting kind of cold in the house. What? What? Why don't you wear underwear? Be because you told me not to wear underwear. Why? Why did I do that? You know, for like easy access. Oh uh, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start wearing underwear. Definitely, you can start wearing it. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. What, what are you? What are you doing? I was going to thank you. What, that, that, you can just say thank you. But that's how you told me how to say thank you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can just I can give you a raise. Oh, you have a raise? Let me, let me help you. No, 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 no. I, I meant like raise with, with money. Oh, you're going to pay me? I don't pay you. I mean, you sort of do, but it's only like five pesos per month. Okay, I'll, I'll start giving you $3,000 a month. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. No, 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 no. I said I know what the thank you is. Look, look, I'm going to go uh, drive around in, in my car. Do you? Do you want me to thank you in the car? No, no, just stay right here and do whatever it is you do. Okay, Mr. Goodman. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, wow, a real Lamborghini? And I get to drive it? This is so cool! Oh my god, I've never driven a Lamborghini before! Let's start it! Oh, this is so cool! Okay, I'll drive really careful. Man, I love driving this car. I never want to go back to my old life. Goodman! Marvin, you get out of my car right now! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Goodman. Your joyride is over. Take me back to your house so we can figure this out. Okay. God dang it. All right, Marvin. We're going to sit right here and figure out how to get me back in my body. Oh, hey, Marvin. I see you brought your lawyer, too. If we can just sign these papers, we can get this over with real quick. Wait, what's going on? Uh, Marvin's wife is divorcing him. Why? Because he keeps calling me a fat cow. Is she not? I'm doing you a favor, Marvin. I'm going to sign those papers. Well, no, 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 no. We don't want the divorce. Well, it's not really up to Marvin. She's divorcing him. Well, 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 maybe we can work something out. Well, no, I made it really easy for you. See this happy little font? It's called fairy tale ending. I, I know it's kind of ironic given the circumstances, but imagine if it's a divorce in big red letters. That'd be pretty sad. But this is like divorce. That's not so bad. Okay, but Marvin doesn't want the divorce. Oh, come on. Look, man, I know that divorce is scary at first, but after you get divorced, you can download Tinder and then get a piece of strange ass. And, and then you itch for the next few weeks. Post-nut clarity's a bitch. But, but then you find another woman and you get married to her and you do it all over again. It's a circle of life. Okay, but listen, I I'm not Goodman. I'm Marvin. Goodman's in my body. It's true. I'm bald and poor. What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you switched bodies like some kind of Rob Schneider movie? Yes, and we don't know how to get back in our bodies. Well, that explains why Marvin was so mean to me. Yeah, I would never be mean to you, baby. So does anyone have any ideas how we can switch our bodies back? Well, in the movies, usually they miss their old life and learn a lesson, and then they switch back. Yeah, I miss my old life. I miss being rich. I want my body back. Well, I kind of like Goodman's life. So, I don't know, I mean, I guess I miss my old life. But, but listen, can you like, help us figure this out? Uh, look, man, I'm in lawyer mode right now, not magic mode. I don't even know how to do magic. This is a problem you gotta take up with God. Hey, it's me, what's going on? God, we need your help! Yeah, I know, I heard. Okay, so me and Goodman switch bodies? We don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I drank a lot of water last night and I accidentally turned it into wine. I got pretty drunk. I thought it'd be funny to make you guys switch bodies. Well, can we switch back? Well, that depends. Did you learn your lesson? What lesson was I supposed to learn? Well, maybe now that you've seen how terrible Marvin's life is, you'll treat him better from now on. I agree. It is pretty shitty. He's poor and he's married to a cow! Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna treat him better now? <sighs> I guess. I guess I'll treat him slightly better. Okay. Poof! Ah, am I back? Am I back in my body? Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, I'm back. Big wiener in town. Ha ha! Poor! I mean, slightly less fortunate. You know what, Marvin? With all the crap that you've been through, you don't have to owe a house payment this month. But I would recommend signing those papers. Thanks, I guess. Marvin, is that really you? Yeah, I'm back in my bald, fat body. Don't forget your small wiener. Yeah. Marvin, at least we have each other. Okay, well while you guys do that, I'm gonna go have my maid thank me. 